Okay, so a bit of a saga going on here. Have a look at this. Let me tell you what's going on here. So, first of all, I started off by making, look at this, this amazing missing seat from scratch. Did an absolutely beautiful job, bolted it all together, stained it, <clears throat> fits amazingly. Then I went, okay, I've got, to, I've got to sand back the rest of the woodwork here. Started trying to do it with it in the boat and I went, you know what, I'm not going to be happy with the results here. I've got to take all of this woodwork out of the boat to prepare it properly. And then once I took the woodwork out, I thought, you know what, this is a perfect opportunity to take the side pockets out as well <clears throat> and make some new ones or, or re-trim them. They were an absolute nightmare to get out, beyond a nightmare. So pulling all this stuff out was a pain in the backside. Getting the side pockets out, nightmare. It was just absolutely a crap job. The way this was all built into the boat, screwed in, screwed to the side pockets, screwed <clears throat> everywhere and once I took it out, I'll show you guys in the boat in a minute, I just went, you know what? Do I really want all this? Like, seriously, do I need a unit with an area for a cooker and a sink plumbed into an old tank full of slime and gunk? Do I need a table? Do I need all of this space being taken up in the boat? You've got the ongoing maintenance with wood as well, okay? so. Stain it, lacquer it, it'll look good for a year or two maximum and then you'll be starting all over again. So I took all this stuff out and I went, you know what, I don't think I can put it back in. I don't think I can, in my right mind, put all this back in when I know I could do something so much better. Um, and look, I said I wasn't going to do this. I said I wasn't going to modernise the boat and to cut a long story short, I am going to change the entire format now but I'm not gonna do it in a way that looks tacky, okay? I'm not gonna do it in a way that looks like I'm trying to make it look like a brand new modern design boat. Like I'm not gonna put stupid looking seats in there which are for a sports boat or whatever. I'll talk through all that in a minute, but look, this wood, it's gotta go. I, I just can't put it back in there. I just honestly can't. And sometimes in life, you know, you can have the best possible well-formed plan but you can't see the right next steps until you sort of take a few steps into that journey and that's kind of what happened to me here um i took this stuff out to prepare it and went you know what i can do better um i was not on the right path and the side pockets th this crap that you know they join down to the floor of the boat and water and that can run behind them but you can't get to it, hooks and sinkers, etc. So no, not doing that again either. Everything is gonna change uh, for the better. So, you know, the boat is turning into obviously a pretty decent sized project now but I don't wanna cut any corners. This is not a boat that I'm planning on keeping for five minutes and of all the boats I see it now as basically an opportunity, okay? I've had so many boats and I've learned so many things about those boats over the years, the good things, the bad things, all that sort of stuff. So I really know what I want now. And I see this boat as an opportunity to implement all those things that I want and I value. So let's go around and jump in the boat. You can see what it looks like at the moment, all stripped out. Okay, so here we are. Let's have a look around here. What we have is just one big, huge cockpit space at the moment. Obviously, side pockets have been removed. Lots of wiring in there. Um, I've tidied it up slightly, but ultimately once I install my new sounder and all that sort of stuff, it will be tidied up further and tucked up into there. So look at that. We've basically just got now a huge blank canvas to work with. And there is heaps of room under this hardtop. And 
it was kind of, you know, once I pulled the wood out, I just went, wow, I can do something really, really good here. You know, I can do something that I'm going to absolutely love rather than just sort of putting the wood back in and, you know, it being basically mediocre. So, <clears throat> back to the side pockets, um, things like this here, see there's basically water was leaking down the back here, getting stuck under here. So what I'll be doing is remaking these side pockets rather than one giant piece either side. They'll be done in two pieces. So one piece will cover the front here and I'm going to leave huge access holes all the way along top and bottom so you can get your hands behind there fiddle with wiring um whatever that will then go to here okay that will then join instead of this stupid curve for no reason one side pocket's going to end here another one is purely going to go from here or here somewhere all the way back flat side pocket so what I'm doing here is I'm improving access so when you want to get to something you don't have to pull the entire bloody boat apart, okay? Or you can do it in stages or bits and pieces or whatever. I'm also making it like this so that I can um, soon in the future um, get these new fuel tanks made up for the sides here. So as you can see there's a very long cavity along there that's well over Probably, probably two and a half meters long either side there. And what I might even do is cut these out and raise them to give more room for the fuel tank. But the point is, I want the side pockets to be in two pieces so I can take them off, get the fuel tanks made up at some point without taking the whole boat apart. I'll also make the side pockets here with a gap underneath them. Okay, so to contour with these gaps here, including one at the back. So you can basically get your hands under there and, um, you know, hose the boat out. And so I want to get to the point where there's nowhere for water to sit. There's nowhere for things to sit. Um, so just to make the boat way more practical because pulling all that stuff out was an absolute honest nightmare. And I never want to have to deal with that sort of thing again. <clears throat> So the plan is four piece side pockets in total. Um, obviously I'm gonna repaint the entire floor here to all be one nice color. Um, those side pockets will be retrimmed, will be trimmed in sand, the color of that hood lining there. So that should look um, really good. So it's all kind of coming together. Now, if we'll talk about what is my ultimate format inside the hard hot hard top here so what I what I'm gonna do here is basically um, two forwards facing nice um, captain's chairs <clears throat> that are basically height adjustable will swivel if needed and will move um, back and forward okay and what I want then in this space here Either side, going to be the same on both sides. Two very long split lid um, eskies, hard up against the side pocket, so that you can basically sit, people can sit on the eskies under the hard top, and um, use the side pocket as a backrest. So, it's going to look really neat and cool when I finish it. Two captain's chairs, fully adjustable for different height, sizes, whatever, how you want to make, get yourself comfortable. And then two big long eskies sit against the nice side pocket. So, you know, 115 litre eskies or something like that. Now, we'll have a, a few design challenges here because, not so sure if you can see, but the floor is basically, it does curve up here okay so it's not all perfectly flat like most modern boats are so what I'm gonna have to do is basically build a couple of platforms uh, which sort of come from the side here come out as far as I want them to go as far as the eskies are gonna go and then forward to where I'm gonna bolt um, seat pedestals that are fully adjustable but 
you know, make this base ridiculously strong and bolt those pedestals in. So they are very strong. None of this self-tapping screws of pedestals into the, the fiberglass floor rubbish. We all know how that ends up. Now, the important thing here too is to, to make this all workable and work well ergonomically. I see a lot of people doing up these old boats and they do things to look nice, but they actually don't work and they're crap um, functionality wise. So, just imagine if you're going to be sitting... So, I see people building seats all the way to this edge, for example. And then they sit on them and then their feet dangle in the air. So, no. If I'm going to do that, if I'm going to do the, the Eskies, they really need to end somewhere here to allow this base here to put your feet on. So, you can sit back against the side, comfortably with a backrest, and your feet can go over the edge of the esky, which it will, and you'll at least have a bit of a platform along this edge here to, to sit comfortably. So, there's a lot of little things to think about here to do this correctly, but it's going to be well worth it. Um, the deck size of this boat is absolutely huge, and the, the under roof size here of the hard top is absolutely huge, and Look, I absolutely, I love hard tops. Don't even get me stuck, started on that topic. But um, yeah, the only luxury I need is two beautiful chairs, big ass air skis, and the cabin here in the front with the toilet, which I do want to keep, you know. If I have all that, I will be a very, very happy man. So yeah, soon you're going to see new side pockets, new seats, big air skis, new seats at the back, all of that re-trimmed. This boat is about to look very very different um i think the the functionality of it is going to be awesome um i'll be going as i've mentioned uh, just a single 16 inch unit here which i'm going to try and build a bracket to come out here to mount it down as low as possible so i can see over it comfortably but um i can sort of start to see the light at the end of the tunnel now and you know i'm gonna as I've said, I'm going to do this in a way that it doesn't look tacky, okay? So, for example, the chairs that I've ordered, the sort of captain's chairs, they're like a nice square boxy looking chair with square arm rest to rest your arm on. They look, they're brand new, but they almost look like they're something from the period of when this boat was actually made. So that's how it's going to be done, guys. So, uh, yeah, I had all these other intentions. They're out the window. I want this boat to be a true hose the boat out type boat. No water can get anywhere. No dramas. Um, yeah, so I'll show you guys as it basically comes together. Next step this weekend, I'm working on making and trimming these, these side pockets. And things take me time because the way I do things, if you notice with, with the seat in, the, in there, I don't do things like rubbish self-tapping screws and stuff like that. If I'm going to reinstall side pockets, for example, I'm going to be bolting um, angle line, okay, through here. Angle line through the top there, um, lock nuts, stainless steel everything, and then side pocket bolts to the angle line. I'm not going to put self-tapping screws back into the edge of the wood here, like, it's just rubbish, okay? So, I do things so you can actually maintain them for the long term. Alright, so see you guys soon, see how it comes together.